Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and today I'm right on the edge. Yes, yeah, so I am here in Blackpool, believe it or not. Check this out, we've got green stuff. Yeah, so I'm right on the edge of town here. That way over there is the staining area. We're just by the back of Blackpool Zoo. We're right on the edge of town. I'm in the Martin Mere Nature Reserve. We're just looking around here. There's a road over there that takes you to staying in. The village just on the outside. So at the moment, I'm just walking around this track here and I'm going to get up to Martin Mere caravan site over there. There's no subject for this video. It's another one of those walk and talk videos. So there's no particular subject. So I'm just going to walk and talk about stuff that's going on. We're now looking down. Can you see this reed bed down here? You can probably hear them. It's quite windy today, actually. The reeds are blowing. So this is a nature reserve. Some of you might know about it if you've ever been to Martin Mere Caravan Park. And as we look straight ahead now, can you see Blackpool Tower? Oh, Blackpool Tower right over there. It's a good couple of miles away from here. Yeah, so that's where we are. Yeah, so like I said, there's no particular subject for this video. It's another one of those videos where I just walk around and I talk about what's going on. And at the same time, I kind of show you where I am and talk a little bit about the area. There's quite a bit of history about this area to talk about. I did a bit of growing up around here. So we'll talk about that as I go along. Okay, so as we look towards the caravan site over there, can you see the caravan? You might not be able to see the caravans, but this used to be dominated by the massive National Savings building, yeah? Over there, the, uh, the premium bonds, that's where Ernie, the random number generator used to be. Who remembers that? The big massive black and white uh, building. Looked a bit like something out of a James Bond movie. Or, or something out of Thunderbirds. Yeah, I know a few people that used to work there as well. National Savings. Yeah, that's where Ernie was. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to be making my way round to the caravan site. And we'll have a little look when we get over there. I'll try not to uh, break up this video with any cuts or anything. Because the idea of this video is to... Or these type of videos is to just um, go with the flow, really. Yeah, so I'm just walking around the mirror now. And they've got these benches. This is a bit underrated, this place, you know. Has anybody heard of Martin Mere? That, that's Martin as in the name Martin. That's near Southport. You can probably get mixed up with this place, but that's a proper, I think, it is it, um, is it a wetland trust or something? Martin Mere, I don't know. This is Marton Mere because we're in Greater Martin, the Greater Martin area of Blackpool. It's a huge area. And I tell you what, you can see some fantastic wildlife around here. You get some cracking starling displays across the mere here because they, they like to bed down in this, these reeds here. So I've got some cracking pictures from the past of starlings. I even saw a starling get grabbed by a sparrow hawk. Yeah, yeah. A little bit unfortunate that there, yeah. Yeah, but you do get some cracking wildlife around here, I've seen. Um, sedge warblers. I'll show you some pictures on the screen now of some of the stuff I've photographed. Sedge warbler. Uh, loads of stuff around here. Loads of. Um, I've even seen a bird of prey, a marsh harrier. Can you believe that? A marsh harrier. Yeah. And I was the only person in the hide at the time. And I know that Filed Bird Club have the hide just around the other side. We'll have a look at that. And there was no one in it. And if they'd have seen that bird, a marsh area around there, they'd have, they'd have been having fits, I'm telling you. Yeah. Because marsh harriers, you tend to get them a bit further out. You tend to get them up at Leighton Moss. Leighton Moss, uh, which is up near Lancaster, yeah. So anyway, I'm going around this path. This path goes all the way around the mere, of course. And it's just another part of Blackpool, which I have touched on before. I've touched on this area before, around the zoo, but now we're heading towards, well, like I say, if we look over that way, you can see it's literally all fields out that way. We're right next to the motorway here at the Martin Mere Caravan site. Some of you will be aware of the Martin Mere Caravan site, but I'm not sure how many people go to the caravan site and actually take a walk around this, uh, this mere here, because it is a really, really good walk. 
like I say, it's uh, it's probably not uh, as well known or as well used as it could be, seeing as it is in Blackpool and we do get a lot of visitors coming over to the caravan site because the caravan site is the, I think it's probably the biggest in Blackpool. I'm just going over this bridge now, look at this. Got a little stream there, look. Yeah, so you also get owls and things like that around here. I saw an owl, one of the very few times I ever saw a wild owl, but it was through someone's uh, spotting scope and it was in a box because they have owl boxes here as well. Yeah. So there you go, Martin Mir. Yeah. And we're now just coming up to the caravan site. Check this out. I did a lot of growing up around here, you know, because my granddad and grandma used to live on the Mearside estate, which is just across the way from, from here. Blackpool's second biggest housing estate. I did a bit of growing up there. Um, my granddad used to take us down here Every Sunday we used to come down here to Martin Mir and play on the... We used to come around here to the water and we always, we always used to play on the arcades as well, which is absolutely awesome. I remember playing Space Invaders and things like that at the arcade here on Martin Mir Caravan site. It's probably a lot bigger now than it used to be back then as well. It's absolutely huge. I'm sure they've expanded it. Look, there's people here now as well, look. See that? So we've got people bringing their own caravans and camper vans here look they've got all the facilities here at Martin Mir hey it rhymes that doesn't it <laughs> yeah so look at this early October at Martin Mir I'll have to do a proper video I'm only really going to skirt around the outside on this one Probably do a proper video on it sometime. Get the odd person coming on my channel saying, oh, Blackpool's a dump. And they don't look beyond, you know, beyond the front. And I know some places, some parts of Blackpool are obviously a bit run down like anywhere else, you know. But uh, when you see places like this, you know, you won't be too quick to jump to that conclusion when you look further in to the town yeah so you can bring your camper van you can bring your caravan they'll all have electric here obviously they'll have hookups all that sort of thing so if you're into uh, traveling camping then you might want to uh, check this place out they've got a massive uh, leisure center They've got shops, they've got a spa shop. Just over here, we've got a bit of a viewing area, look. It's a massive reed bed. A little bit of a viewing area there. Sometimes get swans. In fact, that looks like it's really got overgrown with, with the reeds, so it might want to, it might want thinning out a bit there. But yeah, this is Martin Mir. Yeah, right on the very edge of Blackpool. So if you're coming into Blackpool, just off the M55, and you follow the, the old road into town, this is where you'll, uh, this is where you, you could end up because it's right on the very edge. Just walking past through these leaves now because uh, the leaves are blowing off the trees now look up there now can you see we've got these big buildings here i think they've got a a swimming pool look at these uh, static caravans here now i think you can obviously you can live here for so long i don't know what the rules are some of you probably know more than me there's a massive big water slide up there can you see that there so if you're into if you're into that sort of thing, you can do that. I'll just show you a little bit up here. Like I say, I'll probably come back and do a proper video. I just wanted to show you here. If you're interested in the, the nature reserve, there is a visitor centre right here. Can you see that building there? Well, there you go. Martin Mir 
nature reserve visitor centre. And we're just coming up to now where the main offices are, the, the reception and uh, just over here we've got the, uh, I thought it was a spa, it was a spa but it's not now, it's uh, just called a mini market. Yeah, so this is like the centre, the plain area up there. Like I said, it's only a quick look around, just to give you an idea of what it's like here in Martin Mere. It's a massive place. And like I said, I think they must have expanded it quite a lot since, since we used to come up here. Someone's got a massive big tent on the caravan down there. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, it's quite windy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually quite windy today. And I put my jumper on thinking it was going to be a bit cold, but I'm sweating now. Honestly, it's probably a good thing, really, because uh, we've got this um, cost of living crisis and the price of gas and all that. How are you all coping with that? I think most people uh, tend to be talking about that, don't they? I'm a little bit uh, worried myself about that, you know, because... Uh, I had to turn the boiler on a couple of times last week because it just got quite cold. It's warmed up again now. Uh, just trying to think of uh, how to how to save a bit of money, really. You know, how to save on it because it's hard to know how much you're spending. I think when it comes to that sort of thing, because I'm sure they bamboozle you with all these different uh, tariffs. And oh God, honestly, I looked at the bill and I, I can't I can't tell what what uh, they're on about. So this is the main road going round the outside of Martin Mere, and you can see loads more caravans up there. Just up here is where one of the many hides are. They have these hides going round, and this is the one where Filed Bird Club, I think this is one where they're based. It's locked at the moment, unfortunately. So I can't go in there, but that's where I saw that uh, marsh area that I was showing you before. Yeah, so there you go. What do you think of Martin Mir? This is an absolutely massive site. Just look at all these vans here. I used to work on a caravan site back in the olden days and it was owned by Taskers. Remember Taskers, who used to own that store? Well, it was the same firm that I used to work for. Taskers, yeah. Own the caravan site, I used to work there a long time ago. There, quite a bit of space here on this side. I wonder if this might ever get to some caravans because I know over there, if you see those caravans over there, I'm pretty sure that that was all kind of empty. I'm pretty sure of that, but we put a load of vans on there now. I might be wrong, but it does seem like this place has really, really expanded. I wonder whether when they knocked the premium bonds down, did they take any of that site or, or was it all for that new housing development? It was probably all for the new housing development. So there you go. That was a little look around Martin there. So there you go, that was a look around Martin Mere Nature Reserve here on the edge of Blackpool and also the Martin Mere caravan site. I tell you what, that wind is coming right at me now. Yeah, but it's a warm wind. Anyway, I'll probably come back and do some more in-depth videos on these two places sometime. I tell you what, there's a helicopter over there that's uh, making the right racket. It might be the air ambulance because it lands not too far from here for the hospital. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.